For my science fair project, I studied how neurological bias affects stereotyping and person perception in daily life. Stereotyping and bias are both similar terms, both of which can most easily be defined as a subconscious process during which ideas are made about a group without taking time to get to know and relate to individuals of said group. The amygdala is a gland in the brain that is responsible for, for fear responses and is also believed to trigger stereotypes. It was present in animals long before the gland that controls reasoning, which may show there is a greater necessity for quick judgments and careful reasoning when discussing basic survival. So, after researching the basis of stereotypes, I found myself wondering how such neurological functions are used on a typical day-to-day -day basis. The question that is being asked is, does the amount that people stereotype depend on age? And if so, which age group is most judgmental? So, the hypothesis for my project is, if people of different age ranges are shown various fashion styles, then adults will judge most harshly. My independent variables were the fashion style of the person in the photo and the age of their participants. And the dependent variable was the answers that the participants put on their survey. During the actual experiment, I drew four pictures, each of which depicting a person who was a, represented a certain fashion style. The four styles were girly, punk, tomboy, and gothic. I then set up a Kia that asked ten questions about the people in the picture's personalities on a scale from one to ten. An example of a question being, on a scale from one to ten, how nice would you say this person is? There are four separate Kias, one for each image, that all the same questions listed. I then gathered 30 volunteers, 10 adults, 10 teenagers, and 10 children, and asked them to respond to all four Kias after they looked at the corresponding image. As you can see, the graph for image number one, the girly style, shows mostly positive results, ranging from 6 to 10 for most responses. The graph for image number two, the punk style, has very high results for nearly every question from the adults, but kids and teens had responses as low as one for some questions. Image 3, the tomboy, was another graph that had mostly positive results, although there are a couple of kids and teens who have rated some questions as well as well. Image 4, the gothic one, had the lowest results of all four graphs. The amount of answers ranging from 1 to 4 is shocking in comparison to the other graphs, in which the numbers vary. So, continuing on my previous statements, the girly stereotype and the tomboy stereotype received the most positive feedback, and the gothic stereotype had the most negative results. Also, going back to the main point of the experiment, the age group that was most consistently judgmental were the kids. Thus, this experiment allows one to conclude that out of adults, teenagers, and children, children are the most judgmental. This may go back to the development of the amygdala and the fact that judgment can often come before reasoning. 